Hi, this is Wendell Odom, and welcome to this edition of Techie Topics. This video is about the TCPIP model and some perspectives about how you need to use that and how you think about it. First off, any networking model, the TCPIP model included, is a way to think about, conceptualize, and then talk about a particular type of network. So you'll learn terminology and learn categories called layers anytime you learn a networking model. Now in the case of the TCPIP model, the original model had four categories or layers that you see here. Usually you see these models listed as a big list of topics top to bottom in a rectangle. Mm -hmm. In this case we have the application layer at the top, then the transport layer just below it. Next, you see the internet layer, and that is indeed where we get the term internet for the internet. And then the original TCPIP model had two, had a single layer rather, at the bottom called network access layer. And the reason I misspoke and said two is that later a different version of the TCPIP model started being used, which took that bottom network access layer, as you see here, and split it out into two parts, the data link layer and physical layer. So on the right, you see the five layer model, which is most commonly used today. So anytime you think about a protocol that's part of TCPIP, you should be able to categorize it into one of these four or five categories based on the functions that it provides. For instance here, I'll list a couple of uh, key standards and protocols that you may have already seen before starting your study for CCNA. There's Ethernet that we've all heard of so many times and you probably use every day. There's TCP and there's IP the two protocols that actually make up the name TCPIP. There's T1, that's a WAN term that you may not have heard of, or at least fewer of you probably have coming into your study. And PPP, point-to-point -point protocol. And finally, uh, one of those more familiar terms, HTTP, which is an application layer protocol. Now if you take any and all of these protocols and standards and you think about what they do once you understand them better, you should be able to look at this TCPIP model that you see and figure out which protocol goes with which category. For instance, Ethernet, as it turns out, defines both data link and physical layer details, so I'll put it over here uh, kind of at the dividing line. PPP is a data link layer protocol, whereas T1 is a physical layer protocol. So you could think of those that way. Now if you don't know why yet, of course you have to get further into your reading to understand what those things do and then why they would be uh, associated with these particular layers. Finally, TCP is a transport layer protocol, whereas IP is the main protocol at the internet layer of the TCP IP model. And finally, the application layer protocol here in this particular list is HTTP. So each time you learn a new standard or a new protocol, you should get to the point where you think, oh, that must be an application layer protocol or a transport layer protocol, so on and so forth, which gives you a way to then compare and contrast that protocol with other similar standards and protocols at that same layer. They may do some things the same way, they may do other things differently. So you get a better understanding. Back to the whole purpose of this model being a way to understand and then to discuss it with common terminology with other people.